Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Average oh Joe. We have this beer that You're Average right Joe brought that. over, but was sent to Average Joe by DJ of DJ's Brew Tube. So thank you very much, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Appreciate it. This is Dominion Oak Barrel Stout, which is 6.1% alcohol. And what were you saying about this? I don't recall. No, it's a uh, year-round Oak Barrel Stout, which is pretty cool. You don't see that too often. No, usually they're seasonal offerings. I'm sure DJ's going to post in the comments like you're wrong. And I'm going to be like, all right. But I'm pretty sure it's your name. Oh, so you might be talking about your ass again. What do you mean again? <laughs> yeah, automation. Auto automation? Oh, well. well it's a hot pumpkin let's beer. Let's be clear, that used to be a hot pumpkin <laughs> beer, and then they changed it for this year for whatever reasons. It's only, it's only a 355 as they say in Canada because they use no yeah, because that's the way of the world, that fucking empirical shit. This is correct. Yeah. But we're, we're America. America. Fuck, yeah. Pass it around when you smell. Yep, pass it. It's okay. Uh, really, really, really deep, dark color. However, if you hold it up by the light, you're getting uh, brown right through the edges, like a nice deep mahogany brown. Yep. You are correct, though, sir. Make it with beer instead of oil. Ooh. Oil beer. Nice. Now, just as oak barrels, do we know if they're uh, just just brand new oak? Do we know if it's a... I, uh... No, I don't. I don't know. Okay, because I was going to say, it doesn't smell like it is any whiskey or anything No, like that. it just smells getting, like a... You're getting just basically wood oh, wow. and a little bit of vanilla. That smells good. Oak like a virgin oak barrel. Like a virgin oak. awesome. DJ, post in the comments so we know, because I didn't do any research, because I never do, and right. he doesn't. We just want ABVs, because then, you know, that's just how... But yeah, it's it smells like it, it's probably just a virgin oak. Yeah. Really. At, at the very least, maybe recharred. It could be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got a little toasty in there. Yeah, it's definitely. I would say yeah, toasty more so than roasty. Roasty, yeah, yeah. yeah. A smidge of vanilla. Yep. Getting the oak character. Toastiness and vanilla. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of. I don't know, kind of dominating the, what what I would perceive to be the style characters for the most part, but. Yeah, at six point one. Those are really what's Maybe coming out. Yeah, but six six point one percent. You kind of expect that. Right? Yeah, so this is even lower percentage than an innocent gun would have. Yeah. So, and that <laughs> again makes me think that it's a virgin barrel because they're not having any of the ABV going up at all. I mean, it's there, but it's not very pungent. Shall we try? Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm. What did she say? She that's said that's a, very, a, that's a very, very big word for an American. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your two cents there, Rhino's wife. Um, tons of vanilla right off the top. Yep. Vanilla, toasty, oak. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Again, though, again, now, this could be just me. A slight sourness on the back end. Ever so slight, but it's there for me. Some info on the beer. Infusing vanilla beans and oak chips. Uses... Willamette and Cascade hops. Okay, so it's infused oak chips and vanilla beans, which would not barrels, chips. Yeah, chips. Or crisps in the UK. Um, which would mean that the reason <laughs> why I'm getting vanilla is those <laughs> vanilla beans, obviously, because that was like the first note that just, yep. it was there. And that's why you're getting just more toasted oak and nothing mm -hmm. else, because they would have just toasted them up There's and more thrown them right into the. Area the it's chips. fucking good though. It's like this quick. is this is. And it's 6.1, so you, I mean, it is kind of sweet and, and quite powerful on the vanilla, so you couldn't drink a ton of them, but you could drink a decent no, amount. No, I think, I think it would be like a two or three bottles yeah. a night. Yeah. You're out at the bar, have a couple bottles. Um, if you don't like vanilla, though, pass. Because <laughs> it, it is really the dominant note. It is, I like it. There's a quality to the beer, vanilla-wise, that you can't really get away from. It's However, the only prominent. reason it's probably able to be year-round is because of the oak chips. Yeah, they're using oak chips. Uh, you know, and, and vanilla beans, they're not actually putting it in barrels. So, yeah. I mean, money-wise, it's a nice pretty penny. But it's still cool to see any kind of oak barrel anything be a year-round beer. Unless, of course, I'm mistaken. At that point, then, I apologize. But I'm almost positive it's year-round and I'm taking your word for it because again, I'm taking my own word for it, and I don't even know if I'm right. I like this; it's good. Mm -hmm. It like envelops your palate really nicely. It, there's there's no one uh, characteristic to the beer that uh, is off-putting, or I could see anyone like unless you truly hate vanilla. It's like it's so nice; it's blended nicely. There's the vanilla. Well, did you guys try any? Yeah. What did you think of it? 
It's, uh, this is just, like, these types of beers, even with Innocent Gun, it's something I'll have, like, a bottle of mm -hmm. here or there. Like, it's not a bar beer for me. It's not something I generally go out and see. It's a nice dessert beer, though. It has yeah. the sweetness yeah. where, like, every it's like once in, in a while, happen. I want this, but it's not, not like, uh, nothing right. I'm, like, you fanatical this in two seconds. Hmm. Um, But I think this one's well done. It's nothing, nothing too strong. It's a nice... I, I think I heard that from the last review. Yeah, hey, sure. Grandma. It's a well done, oh, well done beer, but you it's terrible. Yeah, it, it is a well done beer. I mean, it's, it is. You're getting your vanilla. You're getting your oak. You're getting your toast. You're getting a little bit of a roast flavoring too. Getting some malt. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it a uh, eight, five out of ten. I really enjoy this. I yeah. Uh, what was the what was the beer that we just did? The uh, what was the, the Uranus one? Yeah. Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. 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 Com combination Uranus. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We, I gave that an 8.5. Yeah, I, I like this a little bit more. I'd give it an 8.75. Can't get quite in the 9 range because it's not complex enough to do so, but it's fucking good beer. Thank you, DJ. Really appreciate yes, this. Thank you very blew, much, DJ. Blew away the dark hollow that could have been infected. It's Maybe better than the uh, Budweiser uh, vanilla aged one. Well, let's hope. Week. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. That was good, though. Did you though. say it Budweiser? Was, it yeah. was the... You, but you I'm weren't saying, here, let's that, hope. that was good. Let's hope wise. that a really? properly made beer, then aged with vanilla, would be better than a extract beer That's aged yeah. with vanilla. Yeah, yeah, I, it's pretty it. sad it's that he even brought it. this up. That it's comparison to Budweiser, because yeah. Dominion does some good stuff. And <laughs> you can't really mess fuck it. you, Colgate. <laughs> Just pass the Thank you guys. Not really many other Bye. Cheers. Cheers. For the doggy. Because you're the one who mentioned the Budweiser shit. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.